Sharad Pawar received a threat. Supriya Sule has been the Mumbai police station. Pawar received his threat on WhatsApp. Daughter Supriya Sule says, urged the Home Minister Amit Shah to look into the matter. Adaniya Pawar Sahib ke naam se aaj mere WhatsApp pe ye message aaya hai. Unko ek dhamki di gai hai, ek website se di gai hai. Aur vaisi hi dhamki aur bhi is related jo account se is pe aai hai. To mein sirf nyaay maangne ke liye police ke yaan aai hu. Aur meri binti rahegi Home Minister se Maharashtra ke bhi aur desh ke bhi Home Minister se. Ki aisi jo harkate ho rhi hai, ye gandhi. घटिया राजनीति है और ये कहाँ भी रुकना चाहिए पवार साहब की जो सिक्योरिटी है वो होम मिनिस्ट्री की जिम्मेदारी है वो देश के नेता है तो होम मिनिस्ट्री हैज टू इंटरवेक्ट ओके सो देर इज अ थ्रेट अगेंस्ट शरद पवार इज वॉट सुप्रिया सुले हैज सेड इन दिवेश इज विदास दिवेश है वॉट शी सेंग इसेंशली इज दैट अवल सेहा सुप्रिया सुले डॉटर ऑफ एनसीपी ओके महेश साहब से फ्रॉम दी एनसीपी इज ऑल्सो नॉट ज्वाइनिंग आज महेश साहब से वॉट क्लियर From what Supriya Sule said, that there is a political motive behind the threat, and possibly the threat to Mr. Sharad Pawar is has got to do more with politics than anything else. Well, it is heartening to know that our leader, Mr. Pawar Sahab, has got a death threat, and this has been blatantly uh, sent by a social media platform, and that is the reason. Like today, we are protesting against Mr. Nilesh Rane's uh, tweet comparing Pawar Sahab with Aurangzeb. And hence, there is some design, some political design to polarize Maharashtra on religious and communal lines. And I think uh, Home Minister should immediately take action, provide adequate security to Mr. Pawar Sahib, and all those who are making irresponsible statements, they should be booked. Okay. You're saying that because of the statements, political statements are being made, so nature, these kind of threats are coming in for this particular reason, Mr. Tapse? Right. Hello. Statement. It's not a vague statement. Giving a death mm. death threat to Mr. Pawar. It's not a vague statement, and this has to be taken seriously. I think the Home uh, Department has to act responsibly, find out who has given the statement, and make sure that peace is maintained in the state of Maharashtra. All right. I'm going to thank you for uh, joining us with your views on that. So a threat that has been uh, received by Mr. Sharad Pawar and Supriya Sule, daughter, an MP of. Uh, from the NCP essentially says that she has received this WhatsApp threat. She's also demanded action, the strictest possible action. Vivesh is getting asked more details. Vivesh, as far as this particular threat on WhatsApp is concerned, what are your police sources indicating about who could really be behind this? Because the NCP says clearly it's because of the kind of political statements that have come in from the BJP and that's the reason why these threats are now coming in. Well, uh, NCP MP Supriya Sule has approached Mumbai Police as she is meeting the Mumbai Police Commissioner with the complaint that uh, a threat was received on her WhatsApp, uh, which was sent to a website. Uh, this threat was towards uh, NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar, and uh, she has mentioned that this uh, whoever is responsible for this act, for this threat, should be booked. Action should be taken against the person responsible for this threat, and she's also hinted that this is not the kind of politics that should happen. But uh, Mumbai Police is yet to start investigations. She's meeting Mumbai Police Commissioner uh, in connection with the threat that has been received, and Mumbai Police will uh, soon uh, take action, register a case, and take action against the person responsible. Uh, they'll have to get technical details of the website through which the uh, threat has been sent to uh, uh, Supriya Sule's WhatsApp number. Yeah. So is there a real concern or is this, uh, you know, is this something that the police is just uh, brushing aside? What is it that you are hearing essentially, Divyesh? Well, uh, police is yet to give any official version mm -hmm. uh, regarding this. As of now, Supriya Sule has just met the Mumbai Police Commissioner. She has complained about the threat that she has received. Uh, there will be a high-level meeting of senior officers of Mumbai Police who will uh, further decide the, uh, the further course of action on uh, when a case uh, should be registered. A case will be registered at the Gamdevi Police Station regarding this, following which Gamdevi Police and uh, possibly the crime branch will look into the matter. A cyber cell could also be roped in because this threat has been
been received from a website as pointed out by Supriya Sule. Mm. So cyber cell also will be roped in to investigate further to get technical details of this particular website which has been used as a platform to send WhatsApp message to Supriya Sule uh, citing the threat to uh, NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar. What did this message essentially say, Ritesh? I mean, as of now, uh, Supriya Sule hasn't uh, divulged details regarding what the, the threat say. But as Mahesh Tapase was pointing out, Mahesh Tapase was the NCP spokesperson, he was pointing out that it is a dead threat uh, towards Sharad Pawar, towards NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar. That has been stated in the WhatsApp message uh, sent to uh, Supriya Sule. This was sent on Supriya Sule's mobile number, remember? And uh, the threat was targeted towards NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar. That is what has been learned as of now. We are getting further details from uh, police officials, but yes, they are yet to comment officially regarding this incident, regarding the complaint that has been received from Supriya Sule. Thanking you for the moment, Deviesh, getting us all of those details.